round which rotates your entire future is the circle you're in. If you need to change it, change it. If you need to slowly work on it, work on it. Make sure that you're among the right people. May Allah bless you and grant you goodness. Now there is an issue where perhaps you might be working with people who may be very different in their norms, in their do's and don'ts and so on. You might be going to school with them. You might be interacting with them. There is no harm in doing that. Not at all. There is no harm in working with a circle of people who perhaps are very, very different. But you just need to know your limits. That's it. You need to know your limits. I remember a man told me my business partner is someone who belongs to a totally different faith, does something completely different, has some ideas that are totally weird. Am I allowed to do business with them? Obviously you are, but you don't take everything else. What are you? What business are you doing with them? Keep it at that. You don't have to embrace them to the degree that they start creating doubts within you of your own faith, for example, or they begin to make you slide towards bad habits that you've either never had or you've worked yourself out of. So to do business with someone, mashallah, no matter what, for as long as the deal is halal and it's okay, it's a good thing. May Allah give all of us barakah and blessings in our dealings. But not to know the limits, that's the problem. You need to know where to draw the line. Sometimes you invite someone into your home and you don't realize that you've actually just allowed them, depending on what, what extent it is, you've allowed them into your private space. And if that's the case, they may begin to affect everything and everyone in there. Make sure if you've invited someone home, you need to know where the lines are. You know, if you go to the Middle East, in a lot of the countries, they have something known as a majlis. A majlis, what is a majlis? A majlis is a place where the men would sit. Sometimes it's far away from the house. Sometimes it's adjacent. Sometimes it's a separate part of the house because they know we, people will come here. We don't want to disturb everyone else. We can sit up to midnight and have our thing and have a good laugh or we can have something decent, whatever we want, but we're not disturbing the rest. You need to know where to draw the line. It's good to learn from the culture because it's something positive. Not everyone would be wealthy enough to do that. Not every country can you do that, but you need to know. Let's understand why it is done. May Allah Almighty grant us goodness.